I was hired as a story editor, staff writer, story editor, became a story editor quickly, and then um, became a co-producer in year two. By the end of year three, I was in charge, which was ridiculous. Um, I had only been in the business for three years, and um, Stephen said, yeah, I'm, I'm going to go do this show called Cop Rock now. Here are the keys to the car. Don't, don't crash it. I learned it art because I had a tremendous support system around me. The producing ranks were very, very strong. So um, that was already in place. The team was already working. So my primary job uh, that first year as showrunner was taking care of the script. So I, I felt pretty good um, on that level. But um, I certainly had um, no compunction about asking people to hold my hand on so many of the producing skills that go with making a television show. And Stephen was here on the lot, so um, I had just a, you know, a ton of help. But uh, when, I, when I look back, though, um, how could it be that someone could come out here and in three years um, be running a television show and not only a television show, but L.A. Law, which I think was the was NBC's um, number one drama. That only happened because of Stephen Bochco saying, I think he could run it. Um, otherwise, a studio or network never would have allowed for such a thing. And it probably also happened because Brandon Tartikoff was the head of NBC at the time. And Brandon Tartikoff, again, was a a very bold and strong man with the courage of his own convictions and he was happy to defy conventional wisdom if something made sense to him. So Stephen uh, told Brandon, I think this kid, he's only been here three years, but I think he can run this show. Well, Brandon said, I want to meet him. So I went over to his office. Um, we met. He says, so what are your plans for the show? That was about all the small talk I got. And um, I laid out my plans. Some were pretty defined, some less so. And he went, okay, okay, go ahead, don't screw it up. And, and off I went. Um, and um, I guess we didn't screw it up, but, or, but uh, it, you know, the, uh, but for the, the courage and conviction of, of two pretty prolific people, um, I probably wouldn't have got that incredible opportunity. And I don't think it could happen today because there's too much second guessing in our business today. Um, I think that uh, people guard against failure, and if they fail, they want to have 10 reasons why it was a justified failure. Um, that would not have been a justified failure. If I had crashed that bus, it would have been very easy to, to point fingers at Stephen and Brandon and say, well, of course, what were you thinking? The kid just came out of law school.